Hi, I'm Nick from Australia Native Bee. Today I want to talk to you about natural hive duplication. The first thing you will need to do is cover the bee's existing entrance in the log. I have used a rubber flange and silicon to do this here. Next use the shelf bracket the correct distance down so that the entrance pipe will meet a hole in the back of your box. This is the hive I will be using. It has a hole in the back, a hinge lid, a viewing panel so I can see what's going on inside the hive. The first step is to get the bees used to running through their new hive. Connect the tube into the back of the hive and cover the log so that the bees don't return to their older entrance. You will need to check your bees aren't returning to their older entrance. I use a piece of wax on the front of the hive to make sure that this is their focus. This is the hive after a couple of days. You can see they have worked their way around the edges and started sealing it. This is the hive after about a week and this is really what I'm looking for, an entrance tube to help protect them from predators. Once I see that I have an entrance tube, I can then add brood to help push this hive along. You won't need much brood, about three discs of Carbonaria brood will do. In the absence of a queen cell, add a small piece on top of advancing front. With the brood in place, you can close up the lid and reconnect your hive to your log. Your bees will return into your hive and you can leave this for some time. After a few more weeks have gone by, open your hive and have a look. It should look something like this. If it does, it's time for the final step. Remove the pipe from the back of the box and seal up the hole with a piece of screen. This will allow the bees from the log to move in and out as they wish and the bees in your hive will continue to build their new colony.